Hi, this is Michael Miller, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to set up your Facebook account uh, from scratch. Remember, it's free, and as we go through here, a lot of the information that they ask for is optional. All right, we start out by going to Facebook.com, and this is the page you see if you're not yet signed up. Now, if you are signed up, you can enter your email address and your password and click the Login button, and you'll be logged into your account. But I'm going to presume here you do not have an account yet. What we want to do is we scroll down to the Sign Up section, and as it says here, it's free. This information we do have to enter. You have to enter your first name, your last name, your email address, and you have to re-enter your email address because Facebook doesn't trust you to do it right the first time, I suppose. Then you have to uh, devise your own password. Obviously, the longer and more complex, the better. You probably want to include at least a couple of numbers in there as well as letters. You select your gender, and you select your birthday. This is really the only mandatory information you have to provide. Once you get done with this, I select my uh, day, year, month, etc. I click the Sign Up button, and well, now we're prompted for the good old CAPTCHA, the security check. So we enter as well as we can the letters that are only half readable on the screen. But this is to prove that you're not a robot because Facebook doesn't like robots. So we click the Sign Up button again, and we are now signed up to a degree. What we're going to see when you see the next page, as we scroll out here, is it's going to ask you some things. Now, from here on out, we're optional. First off, they, they, Facebook wants you to find some friends, so they're going to want to import your contacts from other email uh, uh, services. You can skip this if you want. If you want to do it, go ahead and select one, enter your email address, click Find Mail, and, G and uh, Facebook will try to import your, your mail. If it doesn't find any, fine. Go ahead and press Skip because we can always go back and do friends later. Next, uh, wants to, uh, they want you to fill out your profile info. Again, you can skip this if you want, but if you might as well go ahead and do it now. You enter the high school you went to. Notice as you type, you get a list of suggestions. You can just choose a high school from the suggested list, uh, your college or university that you went to, if in fact you did. Again, select one from the list of suggestions. Oh, and by the way, when you do your schools, you now get prompted for what year you graduated. So pull down the list, select your graduation year right here from the list. I went back and did my high school. I'm going back and doing my college now as well. And then, uh, if you want, again, this is all optional, you can enter your employer. And if it's a big company, you know, not a one or two person company, but a big company, they're going to appear in a list also, and you select from the list. Click Save and Continue, and we now go to step three. Uh, it takes a few minutes to save. Uh, well, we're still on step, step two. After you enter your profile information, your, your school information, uh, Facebook is going to suggest even more friends, people who went to the same school, people who worked in the same place. You can select somebody from this list or do skip. I suggest doing skip at this point in time. Facebook will always be prompting you for friends. Now, step three is where you want to do a profile picture. You probably want to upload a picture. You click that link, click continue. We get our good old open dialog box here. You select the picture you want to use as your profile, just like this. Click open, and Facebook will now upload that picture and set it as your profile picture right here. We click, see, right there, just like that. Click save and continue. And what happens next is Facebook wants you to confirm your email. Now, you can do this by going to your email programming and going to the email that Facebook sends you, or just click the Confirm Your Email button right here on this page. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. I click Confirm Your Email. I don't even open up my email program. I uh, click Confirm My Email. I get this dialog box, which wants to link Facebook to Google Mail, to Gmail. Fine. I say Allow. And I'm now signed up. That's it. I'm signed up to Facebook. I've entered some information. And I can now proceed to start using Facebook or enter additional information. We're put on the welcome screen here, which is a screen you can use to add other people to your friends list. We'll talk about adding friends in another lesson. But right now, you're ready to go. You can do whatever you want to on Facebook. You're signed up.